Hi, I'm Mike Owner of the In Groove in Phoenix, Arizona, and today I'm doing the new arrival video for October 26, 2022. I'm going to be here a while, so get yourself your morning coffee going if you want to watch this whole thing because it's been a massive new arrival week. I've got a lot of last week's new arrivals to show you as well because they didn't make it to film. And I'm also going to tell you guys about the WhatNot auction coming up this Sunday. Uh, there's only a couple of pre-orders to tell you about. The first one, both Blue Note Classics, the first two. Uh, you got the Thelonious Monk, Genius of Modern Music, Blue Note Classic. That comes out December 16th, so right before Christmas. Uh, J.J. Johnson, the eminent J. Johnson. That's coming out the same day, barring any issues. So Blue Note Classic titles, both are on the website for pre-order. There's also a Sun Ra title, uh, Prophet. I think I was reading the blurb. I think it's an unreleased album. But that actually comes out the same day. Uh, at the end here, I'll show you guys the whatnot. But it is Beatles week, so let's get into Beatles records slash CDs for Beatles week. I did an unboxing of the Revolver Indie Store exclusive. I'll show you here in a minute. But the first thing is the two-disc CD edition. So this is essentially the remix, right, with two tracks of bonus material. Alternate takes... The singles remixed, Paperback Rider, Rain. Uh, but yeah, we got the two CD edition. The only thing I don't have to show you is the CD Super Deluxe box set, which actually comes sometime Thursday, later today. Okay, I did an unboxing of this earlier today, but I will show it to you again. This is the independent Record Store Day exclusive of the album. So it's nothing more than the album, but it includes a bonus tote bag. So yeah, nice box. I mean, I thought this would be almost a throwaway box, but it's not. It's something pretty solid that you're going to probably want to put on your shelf and save, but comes with a pretty nice tote bag inside. I kept the album, played it in the store a little bit today, gave my wife the tote bag. She insisted on the tote bag. So made perfect sense for me to do an unboxing of it because I was going to be unboxing it anyways. But yeah, that's kind of cool. Again, if you didn't watch the unboxing video, they're only available at independent record stores. So brick and mortar record stores, that's their exclusive. This is just the standard album variant. New Stereo Remix by Giles Martin and Sam O'Kell. Okay, so the last thing kind of threw me for a loop a little bit. I got a little confused. I was having a little moment. Now this is before I went on screen here, but I'm reading this and I'm like, oh, cool. We got the, you know, the vinyl box. So I'm getting ready to check it out. Looking at it, I'm like, Getting confused because it's a Super Deluxe 5 CD edition, but I'm like, no, no, those are all records. Uh, look at the barcode. The barcode comes out as vinyl. They put the wrong hype sticker on this one particular box. Drove me nuts. I had to go in the back and grab another one and take a look. Uh, but yeah, so I've got a, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually take this home, do a little bit of a review of it, and then maybe do a, another video later on this weekend. But uh, yeah, this will be the copy I take home. Kind of cool in the sense that it has the wrong hype sticker. It's an error pressing. Uh, but yeah, this is the Super Deluxe box set. I think this is the one to own, especially for you folks who don't have the mono box, because this actually includes the mono copy of Revolver, cut using the original notes from 2014. On what they say is an improved all analog cutting chain kind of making it sound like this could net even better results than the 2014 cut. So from the original analog master tape, using kind of the same mastering moves from the 2014 cut, I think this is gonna be a home run. And before this box was announced, the record by itself, the 2014 monocopy of Revolver, was two bills on its own. So you're getting that plus everything else, theoretically for free if you look at it that way. So. Very cool. I have a strong feeling that we're going to see all kinds of remasters taking place with mono copies <laughs> included. Okay, so let's get into some of the other stuff. We've got Dawes, Misadventures of Doom, Doom Scroller, probably. This is actually a 10-inch box set on exclusive OPEC brown vinyl, and they're pretty limited because uh, this is 525 of 1,000. So they're doing 1,000 of these. There's two different versions of the new Currency album. Well, 
man, I can't read that. Continuance, maybe? Pressed on black vinyl? Pre what do I got? Uh, uh, uh. No, there's not. There's one version of the new Currency album, and it's this one here, Pressed on Black Final. <laughs> they just threw two of them in. Normally they do that with an independent exclusive is uh, in the mix. Okay, so from Wax, Waxwork Records, this is the uh, Netflix soundtrack to Fear Street. This is on 180 gram colored vinyl. Doesn't mention the color variation, but it is colored. I did get a nice restock from Intervention Records. Everclear. Uh, this is Sparkle and Fade. Let's see, I love Cut by Kevin Gray with exquisitely a remastered cover art. A restored cover art, excuse me. <laughs> remastered. Mastered from high resolution, which is probably how this was recorded originally. Pretty cool. I love these uh, music on vinyl collected. They're pretty good. Essentially greatest hits compilations, but they did one for Frank Sinatra. This is on gold vinyl limited to 10,000 numbered copies. This is 6324. I saw them processing this record in the back, came up to the front. Very first thing I put on was Frank Sinatra. Love Frank Sinatra. Some more intervention records. Uh, Matthew Sweat. What is this, Alter Beast? Matthew Sweet. This is a double disc. I'm trying to find out. 100% analog mastering from the original analog tapes by Ryan K. Smith. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Intervention has kind of changed throughout time where they do the placement of the mastering notes. Sometimes they do a sparse type of code on their more modern ones. Uh, and then the hype stickers are a little bit different. So, okay, so we got Girlfriend. By far his most popular album, I think. Double LP set, 100% analog master from the original tapes. Ryan K. Smith did this one as well. Artist approved. This one has a sparse sticker, a sparse code master from the original analog tapes on the back. I don't think this one did. Yeah, this one doesn't. But this came out a lot. This is 2018, and this one was 2018 as well, but they didn't put the sparse code on them at that point in time. Chris Isaac, San Francisco Days. This is a record store day essential. So similar to the tote bag, independent Beatles, you gotta be an independent brick and more record store to get these. They're kind of record store day releases throughout the year. But uh, San Francisco Days. Music on vinyl, Bare Naked Ladies. This is Stunt, limited edition of 3,000 individually numbered copies on translucent yellow colored vinyl. This is 1506. The Sex Pistols, never mind the bollocks. This is a, maybe this is a Rocktober title. It doesn't have the hype circuit on it, but I felt like it was. Uh, this is limited edition neon green vinyl. They did one of these for Rocktober maybe three years ago, two years ago, and it was on pink vinyl. So if you got both, you got the pair. Uh, but looking at this, man, this is some super bright neon vinyl. Or neon, you know, cardboard, holy cow. A heck of a lot more neon than the album ever was originally. Taylor Swift, Midnights. This came in after. They didn't allow anybody to have these until Friday of last week. So I didn't have them in the video to show you, but I will show them to you now. I'm out of one particular color. They did four colors. This is the Mahogany Edition. Ah, oh, yes. This is the Mahogany Marbled Vinyl Disc. So we've got the, uh, we got the T-Swift Mahogany. Alternate vinyl colors, but also alternate photos. This is the Midnight version. Midnight, or excuse me, this is a Blood Moon marbled vinyl version. Unique photos. Yeah. And then we have the Moonstone Blue Edition. And I have no clue off the top of my head what the fourth color was, but... Uh, we don't have it anyways. So yeah, this album has actually been ex extremely popular and I've been surprised. Uh, the Arctic Monkeys new album, The Car. I've sold a ton of these. This for me has been like Taylor Swift level popular. In store, sold a lot more of the T-Swift online, but in store I've been selling a lot of these Arctic Monkeys. 
Oh my God, here we go. I know you guys have all been waiting for this. The wait is over, the time is now. The Muppets Christmas Carol, picture this. Ah yes, we've got Froggy, we've got Kermit. I mean, is that Kermit's dad? Miss Piggy? Why is there two Kermits on there? I don't know. But yes, the Muppets, just in time for the holidays. Of course, that little Muppet has a cane. I have no idea. Is that like, um, what's his name? Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. The Police. Outlando Stia Moore. This is, what version is this? Hmm. It's new. Thought maybe this was the half speed master, but normally they say. But uh, it says nothing. Shout Bam Alama. Mickey Murray and other Super Soul songs. This is on Sun, man. They're starting to put a lot of cool stuff on Sun. RSD Essential, exclusive OPEC white vinyl. Yeah, originally on SSS International. I have no clue why this was repurposed as a Sun record, but uh, yeah, there it is. All right, Record Store Day Essential title again, Lou Reed's Transformer. This is on white vinyl, reasonably priced. The speaker's corner of this is fantastic, but that's constantly in and out of print. This is nice because it's just a standard vinyl version. I can throw it in the racks. NXS, let's see, 40th anniversary. This is another Rocktober title. This is on clear vinyl. I cannot tell you the last time I've had this in store as a new record or even used for that matter. Caius, the reprint of this thing was going for like a hundred bucks. I remember a year and a half ago, somebody brought one of these in and they were, the way they were acting, it was like they were bringing me in a butcher cover and I went to look it up and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. I, I thought I sold this to you a couple years back. But yeah, they redid it as a Rocktober title. This is on gold vinyl, blues for the red sun. But I feel like a couple years back, any version of this was like a hundred bucks. So. NXS, another title, The Swing, also a Rocktober title. This is on Blue Vinyl. It'd be nice to have the kick back in print, but, excuse me, kick back in print, but I guess the other titles are good as well. I got the Half Speed Master. I don't even know if you guys can see it over there on the wall. Things like a $100 bill already. I don't know if it's out of print. Maybe it's a waiting repress. I feel like it's out of print though. Let's see, a day to remember, common courtesy, limited edition colored vinyl. Dinosaur Jr. Beyond. This is on limited edition green and purple vinyl, 15th anniversary reissue. We've got, now oh, the Christmas tunes are coming in. Kelly Clarkson. When Christmas Comes Around, this is, I guess it's just a standard black vinyl variation. Dangerous Toys, Hist. This is a green vinyl version on Deadline Music. This is actually a great title and it's been really hard to keep this in print, but I finally got a restock of it. I also got to dig this out and show it to you together. But uh, from Newland, Newland, these were mastered by Kevin Gray from the original analog tape transfers. Uh, I have no idea what that means, but printed and pressed at Tet Palace on 180 gram vinyl. But from what I hear, the mastering on these are fantastic. Uh, I personally haven't gotten them, but when I sold them on the Initial round, people were coming in and telling me that these things were awesome. Blue Mitchell and Jerry Mulligan Nightlights. It's kind of cool. They stored it outside of the jacket to prevent seam splits. Nas Magic. This is the uh, 10 bands, one cause. They've been doing this maybe for almost 10 years now. They'll do about 10, 15 albums. Maybe it's 10, 10 bands, one cause, but I feel like it's been more in the past. But they're all on pink vinyl, and I think the proceeds go to uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. 
or, you know, to, to a breast cancer charity. But uh, yeah, get your Nas on Pink Mile with Obi. Sepultura Nation. The classic album back on vinyl at half speed, mastered 180 gram. Guided by voices, scalping the guru. Nothing more. Spirits. This is the indie exclusive on OPEC red with white swirl vinyl. MFG TX. Manufactured in Texas, huh? Death Cab for Cutie. This is the photo album. 180 gram clear vinyl, 20th anniversary deluxe edition. Halloween. My God Given Right. Bicolored vinyl from Nuclear Blast. The Black Keys, Thick Freakness. This is a reissue of some kind. I didn't look it up before, but I noticed as I was shuffling through, it has a bar code over the original barcode. So this may be some color variant. I'm not sure off the top of my head, but it's new. Of Mice and Men, Echo. Half orange and half beer, white splatter, only 2,000 of these. The Genie of the Lamp, Mac Dre, limited to a thousand, first time on marble colored vinyl. That is, uh, I'm guessing a lot of drugs were involved in the making of this cover. What do you think? I'm, I'm gonna go with yes, yeah. That would be my bet. All right, Sponge, Wax Ecstatic. Joni Mitchell for the Roses. This is the new Bernie Grunman remastered, right? Yeah, newly remastered by Bernie Grunman under supervision by Joni Mitchell. Made in Germany on Asylum. Let's see, Frank Ballard, Rhythm Blues Party. Remastered from the original mono tapes, another Sun title. Original on Phillips, International. The Damned, A Night of a Thousand Vampires. 17 killer cuts from Beyond the Grave, first edition pressing, including a concert poster on glow in the dark vinyl. Ah, Phoenix's own Alice Cooper. Paranormal. This is kind of the reunion album that brought back the remaining members of the band. So we've got, what is this, an audio file version? Limited edition. What? <laughs> Hold on. This is good. So I'm looking at the bottom here. It says high quality 45 RPM audio files. I'm thinking audio, something like an audio file record, right? It's like a MoFi or Analog Productions. And then I look at the top. Limited edition picture vinyl. So, yeah. There you go. We've got Slayer, Repentless, limited to 3,000 on ox, ox blood and orange swirl with mustard splatter vinyl. They don't shove enough colors into some of these descriptions. The Essential Foo Fighters, oh, we got a Greatest Hits here, that's nice. Greatest Hits are great for record stores. People get in into vinyl, you know, vinyl's not cheap, so if you're just getting into vinyl, you want to hear a lot of music, people tend to gravitate towards, you know, greatest hits. Let's see, Future, I Never Liked You, the number one Billboard album. Guest appearances include Drake, Kanye West, Kodiak Black, 
bunch of other guys I never heard of. But yeah, here you go. Coolio. Saw Coolio in concert here at the Arizona State Fair. Had an absolute blast. Unfortunately, he's no longer with us. But third stu studio album, 25th anniversary, certified gold, two uh, LP set. That was a great concert. Digital Underground, Shock G's no longer here either. That was that was a hell of a show. It's like half the guys, it was four, four acts, I think half of them are dead. That's crazy. It was only a couple years ago. The Crystal Method, The Trip Out. Soul Invictus, Faith No More, limited edition silver vinyl. Yeah, Coolio comes on the stage. Had a few uh, few less dreads. Maybe he had one left. Maybe it was part of his hat. I'm not really sure. Alice Cooper's Greatest Hits. What is this? The same exact thing twice? It looks like a color variant. But, uh, yeah. Can't make out the color. But Warner Records. It's got a barcode over the original barcode. So, typically indicative of a variant. You can Go on the website, theingroove.com, and see what this is. A Holly Dolly Christmas, an ultimate uh, deluxe edition on white vinyl, two LP20 tracks, eight bonus tracks, including previously unreleased songs from Smoky Mountain Christmas. On Warner. Tom Waits Alice. What is this? A limited edition colored vinyl? Anniversary edition. This is metallic gold vinyl. Ah, Neil. Still with us, but retired. A Neil Diamond Christmas. Jingle Bell Rock. So, so kind of just the classic, you know, Christmas songs done by Neil. When did this come out originally? So this looks like a new album. You know, he's retired from touring, but I guess this is a new record. Came out in 2022. I was going to say, like, that isn't exactly a uh, young Neil. This uh, slipped by I me. Mean, I would have kind of loaded this up in the front. Stanley Turrentine's Common Touch. This is the Blue Note Classic title that was supposed to originally come out last week. Got pushed back a week. All analog cut from the original analog tapes by Kevin Gray at Coherent Audio on 180 gram vinyl. Stanley Turrentine's Common Touch featuring Shirley Scott on Blue Note. So, yeah, man, it's just great time to be a jazz fan, man. I'm really, I really do mean that. The amount of high quality audiophile all analog jazz titles that they're coming out with now is fantastic. Backseat Lovers, Waiting to Spill. Halfway through almost. Pelly Royal, Fever Dream. On black vinyl. Soccer Mommy, Something Forever. Sometimes Forever. This is on Vinyl Violet. This is the independent record store, ex record store exclusive, number to 3,000. Reissue, actually, I don't think these have even been out on vinyl before, but Pollen, Crescent, I think these are super limited, maybe two to 300. I wanna say this is on in Indie Green, and I wanna say this is on Silver Vinyl. Copy of Chip. Produced by Bob Hogue, who actually comes into the store quite a bit. Owns a studio here in Phoenix. Tucson Band, Birds and Arrows, Electric Bones. This is the yellow vinyl variant. Run Out Groove did the Stone Temple Pilots Core. 4LP box set features bonus and live tracks, making their debut on wax. So this is done by the Runout Group, who's recently done some killer stuff. All I'm not saying this is, but they did the all analog Curtis Mayfield Superfly and the Monkees. But now they're dipping into a uh, box set. Concert looks good, live in 93. Yeah. 
All right. And on to the second half. Billy Squire on intervention. 180 gram vinyl press from, so original analog mastering from the original master tapes by Kevin Gray. Artist approved. Press that RTI. Pre-sparse code. We've got Kendrick Lamar. Good kid, Mad City. This is on clear, translucent colored vinyl. The original motion picture soundtrack to Bell. Pressed on split pink and blue vinyl. Some more Halloween. I feel like just in time for Halloween, they're reissuing the whole catalog because every week it's turning into the last couple of weeks, it's turning into King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard. This is on marble vinyl. Which I just got an email today. There's a whole new slew of Wizard Gizzard Lizard records coming out. So plenty more to show you guys in the upcoming weeks. New album by Chicago, Born for This Moment. Actually seen them in, not my thing, but I saw them in concert here recently because it was like a split concert between them and Brian Wilson. Power Band 5000. Copies, clones, and replicants. I feel like I showed this one. Maybe not. Gavon, give or take. Man, it's been a while since I've had a dual bin full of records to show you guys. Halloween, Keeper of the Seven Keys, The Legacy. This is on bicolored vinyl. Striper. The Final Battle. Yep, looking a little older there. Where was this done? Pressed in the EU. We've got the new Megan Trainer. Taking it back. The new album includes the hit single Bad For Me, featuring Tenny. This one made, made you look. All right. Every time I hear her name, I get that all about that bass stuck in my head. And that's like, yeah, it's happening again. Lou Reed. This looks really good. I'm actually going to take this home. This is part of the Lou Reed Archive series. This is the deluxe version, but this is from 1965. So I think this is demo stuff. Let me see here. Features the only vinyl release of I'm Waiting for the Man, the 1965 alternate version. Remastered from the original analog tapes. Recorded. So this is everything recorded between 6, 58 and 64, except for that 65 alternate version. So this is some really early Lou Reed stuff. Foil numbered and limited to 7,500 copies. Yeah, this is 3486. So this is uh, the big one. This is the deluxe edition. Then there's a couple of other versions. There's a standard disc, which is on black vinyl. All tracks recorded in May 1965. So maybe there's some extra. Yeah, so this has a little bit... Uh, More stuff on the deluxe. And this is the same as the last record, just on different colored vinyl. This is on bright yellow wax from Light in the Attic. All right, Whiplash, Power and Pain. This is limited to 2,000 copies on silver colored vinyl. Music on vinyl, this is 926. I guess I didn't show these last week. I talked about them. But this is the all analog cut by Bernie Grumman from the original analog master tape announced by Candid. And they did, a, I mean, the covers are really nice. I haven't heard them yet, but the covers are just real nice, thick cardboard. But then they're reasonably priced, mid $20 record. Charles Mingus presents Charles Mingus. You know, nice tip on jacket on the back, anyways. Yeah. We've got. Max Roach's We Insist.
Oh, to spawn is the blues. And Abby Lincoln straight ahead. It's got Eric Dolphy, Max Roach, Mal Waldron, Coleman Hawkins. These actually, I cracked some of these open to clean for customers. These look dynamite. It's that clear with like a colored splatter wax. So really good looking splatter wax. The B-52s self-titled on splatter wax. We've got the B-52 second album, Wild Planet, by far and away, probably two, in my opinion, two of the best albums of the 80s. Just absolutely fantastic, fantastic records. And then Mesopotamia. More Halloween. Gambling with the Devil, bicolored vinyl from Nuclear Blast. Ray Charles, this was a record store day exclusive, uh, and now it's getting a main release. So I think that was on gold vinyl. This is on probably just straight black vinyl. This is an unbelievably fantastic record, and I heard this from record store day. This thing sounded amazing too. Genius Loves Company. Really an exceptionally well-recorded record. Bjork in Jazz, a jazz tribute to Bjork. What do we got here? Lost Straight Jackets, Jet Set. Sky Blue Vinyl. This is the independent Record Store Day exclusive of the Arctic Monkeys album, The Car. I think I showed you the black vinyl version before. We got the indie exclusive. Oh my God, more Halloween. Straight out of hell, bicolored vinyl. So we got all the Halloween you could possibly imagine. We're just bursting at the seams here. Sammy Hagar, Crazy Times, brand new studio album. Trisha Yearwood, The Sweetest Gift, Holloway, so let's see, includes Christmas classics, Away in a Manger, Santa Claus is Back in Town. I think I got a big restock of uh, Mariah Carey's Christmas album as well, which is one of the best-selling Christmas albums every year we get. Andrea Bocelli, let's see, A Family Christmas. This is probably going to be exceptional. Catharos of lineages long forgotten. We've got death. Nope. Hoth. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, Hoth. All that was promised. Looks like death. Kind of looks like their logo, doesn't it? Susie and the Banshees, All Souls. On black vinyl, so many records. It's like Record Store Day over here. Backseat Lovers, Waiting to Spill. Uh, this 180 gram vinyl, poster included. I'm guessing I have an Indian and non-independent store exclusive of this. They just got separated. Gwen Stefani, you make it feel like Christmas on uh, special white album vinyl. On special white album, okay. Album vinyl, it says. On special white album vinyl. As opposed to, you know, CD vinyl? I don't, I don't know. Elvis Costello and the Attractions. All that useless beauty, number to 2,500 on gold colored vinyl, number 489. Regina Spector, home before and after, exclusive ruby red vinyl. Madonna, erotica picture discs. Celebrating 30 years of erotica. Let's see, album, version, instrumental, and radio edit. Oh, 
All right, let me show you what's going up for the WhatNot auction. This is going to be this Sunday, the 30th at 11 o'clock Arizona time. Click the link below. You'll see all 200 items we're actually auctioning off. But I'll give you a little idea with a little bit of a sampling. This is going to be the heavy of the auction. An original promo copy, unnumbered, sealed of Santana's Abraxas, Mobile Fidelity One Step, one of the absolute best sounding records I've ever heard. It's unbelievable. All this stuff is going to start at zero, you know, at no reserve. So whatever that I get for them, that's what they're selling for. Thelonious Monk's Monk's Dream. This was done to 6,000. There's some rock, there's some jazz. It's mostly a jazz collection. I bought, if you look a week or two back on YouTube, I did a live stream direct from the customer's house. You can kind of see a little bit about what this collection is about. Mostly jazz, but heavy on the audiophile stuff. This is a DCC, all analog of The Doors, self-titled album, done by Steve Hoffman. There is a sealed copy of the 30th anniversary, Dark Side of the Moon. This is in an outer sleeve, so it looks a little dirty-ish, but it's a sealed copy. I think this is actually out of print, The Wonderful Sounds of Christmas. From Analog Productions, I noticed this was no longer on their site. A lot of, pretty much a full run of Miles Davis, Miles in the Sky here. I don't think all of, there's about 3,000 records. We're only auctioning off 200 records this Sunday. Probably take about four hours. But over the course of the next couple of months, it's all going to be on whatnot. Grant Green's Nigeria. This is a tone poet, one that has been... Sorely missing as far as a repress is concerned. Oh, Ry Cooter. This is an original. Uh, yeah, original, still sealed. A lot of jazz, really heavy on the international music as well. South African, Latin, Cuban. So you're going to see a lot of that in this jazz collection. He had a full run of the Analog Productions Prestige series, the original. 200 gram deep groove flat edge heavy tip on jacket cover a lot of them are numbered but this is a uh, still sealed copy of hank mobley's tenor conclave almost a full run of music matters stuff as well here is a copy of lee morgan's candy still sealed i think he had about 100 srx 45 and 33 rpm music matters titles so close to a full run this is the audio fidelity Sade. Promise, all analog. Some original stuff as well. Here's an original of the three sounds on Blue Note. Or 60s pressing anyways, I have to check it out. But a sealed copy of the self-titled Santana. This is the 45 RPM. A lot of this stuff was still sealed. He was buying like a madman for a little while and clearly didn't have enough time to listen to this stuff. This is from Impex, Three Blind Mice, Blow Up Midnight Sugar, and Misty. This is a sealed box set. And we also have, here's an SRX title, Search for New Land. This is Lee Morgan, Music Matters SRX. Again, every one of these titles that you see, plus click the link below, all 200 titles are going to go for no reserve. So that's going to be this Sunday. It's going to be a marathon. I'm Kind of looking forward to seeing how this goes. This is the very first time I've ever done an entire collection on whatnot. I've auctioned off little things here and there, but this is going to be a little bit of a interesting, interesting test on my part. All right, guys, check us out online at theingroove.com. Until next time.